If you've been to Epcot, you might have ridden Living with the Land. Or as some families like to call it, no Jaden, we're not waiting 75 minutes for Soren. We're gonna go to that boat ride over there instead. It's about a 15 minute long ride that teaches guests about the importance of, well, living with the land. The first half takes them through a series of scenes that teach them about some of the different biomes on Earth, as well as how the right lighting can make a scarecrow look really creepy. The other half brings guests through a real functional greenhouse, where Disney grows a wide variety of fruits, vegetables, and flowers. It's mainly to show off how technology can be used to improve farming methods, but as the ride proudly proclaims, the food at Living with the Land is actually harvested and sent off to different restaurants across Disney property. So how much food do they grow, and what's that amount look like in the big picture? The answer is both a lot and not much at all. According to a 2017 interview with Disney's greenhouse operations manager, Laura Kleiss, around 40,000 pounds of fruits, vegetables, and flowers are harvested every year at the land and used at around 20 different restaurants at Disney. On its own, 40,000 pounds is quite a lot of food. According to USDA data, just looking at food consumption pound for pound, that would be able to feed 20 Americans for a full year. However, anybody who's actually been to Disney World knows that you'll probably pass 20 people just walking to the bathroom. That same operations manager went on to speculate that the food sent off to the restaurants on property makes up less than 1% of what they would need. Now, that's a bit vague because it doesn't specify if it's less than 1% of what they need in terms of fruits and veggies or just food overall. However, even if we assume that the 40,000 pound figure makes up half a percent, that would amount to needing 8 million pounds a year or 21.9 thousand pounds a day. Again, a large number on its own, but for a resort that sees tens of thousands of people at each theme park every day, that's still small potatoes. So it's likely they were talking about the resort's fruit and vegetable needs, which makes sense. That number also doesn't account for the fish that are farmed in the attraction's aqua cell. And it's also worth noting that not all of the food is grown right in the parts of the greenhouse you see while on the ride. Beyond the attraction space, there are additional greenhouses backstage where non-show plants are grown and cared for. So while the land isn't necessarily feeding most of the guests at Disney World, it's still helping. And besides, the greenhouse at the land is used for more than just that. The facility works in partnership with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on research projects. So if you've ever ridden past that lab that gives off real Jurassic Park vibes and you wondered if it was real or just for show, it's legit. Are these characters uh, auto erotica? No, no, no. We have no animatronics here. No. Those people are the real miracle workers. According to the USDA website, they're currently aiding in a research project called Improving Disease Resistance, Fruit Quality, and Growth Habit of Temperate Fruit Crops Through Genetic Engineering. Between the research and the experimental growing methods, the greenhouse has been able to put out some pretty impressive crops. According to their horticulturist at the time, Les Frey, they've grown everything from 200-pound pumpkins to 9-pound basketball-sized lemons to a tomato plant that holds the Guinness World Record for producing over 13,000 tomatoes in a little over a year. So sure, living with the land might not be as popular as Soren or Test Track or Mission Space or Spaceship Earth or Frozen Ever After or The Seas with Nemo and Friends or Grand Fiesta Tour or Journey into Imagination. All right, so that last one like maybe 50-50 these days. In any case, it might not be the most popular attraction, but this 15 minute long boat ride not only sets out to educate guests about the science of farming, but it practices what it preaches by growing tens of thousands of pounds of food a year that gets put to good use. And it goes a step further by being a real research station that helps in pushing that farming technology even further. So in a way, living with the land is the most quintessential Epcot Center ride there is. 